2.5 gigabits per second Ethernet speed is becoming more and more ubiquitous these days. You find it in high-end routers like my Asus RT AXE7800 router and also you find it on the newer routers, you find it in newer computers and also you can purchase a network interface card that is PCIe, you install it in your desktop and you'll get the speed. So in this video I'll be determining if it is worthwhile to upgrade to 2.5 gigabits per second Ethernet speed and how much faster it will be versus the 1 gigabits per second speed in real life application. So let me start first by showing you what is the material I'll be using to perform these tests. So this is a material I'll be using on top of my PC. It is very important to know that if you want to achieve a certain speed, the speed will depend on the weakest link of the chain. So here I made sure that the weakest link will not be lower than 2.5 gigabits per second. So I'm going to be using my PC that is connected with Wi-Fi 6 to my Asus router and Wi-Fi 6 has a limit of 9.6 gigabits per second and from my PC I'll be copying files that are on an SSD drive that has a very high speed of 7000 megabytes per second and the Wi-Fi 6 band of the Asus router is 4.8 gigabits per second and on my Asus router I'll be connecting my Zima Blade NAS server to this 2.5 gigabits per second network port and on my NAS server what I've done is that I purchased a 2.5 gigabits per second PCIe Ethernet card and I put it in the PCIe connection of the Zima Blade and also I connected an SSD that is a Samsung 860 EVO that is very fast and the SATA that is connected to the Zima Blade is SATA 3 so it is 6 gigabits per second and to connect the 2.5 gigabits per second network card to the router I got a CAT7 Ethernet cable that is limited to 10 gigabits per second so in no way it will be a bottleneck so now this is the 2.5 gigabits test that I'll be doing so I'll be copying some files from my PC to the Zima Blade server and vice versa I'm be reading some files from the Zima Blade server to my PC and determine the speed of writing and reading and the baseline test I'll be doing is the 1 gigabits per second baseline test so I'll be connecting the Zima Blade server with its 1 gigabits per second Ethernet port to one of the 1 gigabits per second ports of the Wi-Fi router and I'll be using also the same cable so here the limit will be the 1 gigabits per second ports of the Zima Blade server and of the router and this will be the baseline test and we're gonna compare the results of this test with the 2.5 gigabits test and see if it really gives us faster speeds. The first test I'm doing is writing a large file that is 6.24 gigabytes from my PC to the Zima Blade server and of course I did this test with the 2.5 gigabits per second which is on the bottom of the screen and with the 1 gigabits per second speed that is on the top of the screen and here the 2.5 gigabits per second was much faster than the 1 gigabits per second so it was averaging 102 megabytes per second as opposed to the 72 megabytes per second that the 1 gigabits per second was averaging and this is 41 percent faster so now i'm using the same large file that is 6.24 gigabytes to copy it from the nas server to my pc and here also the 2.5 gig ethernet speed was faster than the 1 gig but this time it wasn't much faster so it was only faster by 17 percent it was still averaging 102 megabytes per second whereas the 1 gigabits per second ethernet speed was averaging 87 megabytes per second in this test i'm writing a large number of mixed files that are videos and also pictures and the total volume amounts to 6.28 gigabytes and here also the 2.5 gig ethernet speed was faster than the 1 gig but the difference in speed wasn't as much as when i copied the one large file so here the 2.5 gig was faster by 15 percent and it was averaging 61 megabytes per second whereas the 1 gig speed was averaging 53 megabytes per second now I'm reading the same 1031 mixed files that amounts to 6.28 gigabytes from the NAS server to my PC. 
and here a big surprise the 2.5 gig and the 1 gig were performing almost the same so the 2.5 gig was averaging 71 megabytes per second whereas the 1 gig was averaging 70 megabytes per second and the 2.5 was only 1% faster than the 1 gig and this can be considered as a margin of error so you saw that the 2.5 gigabits per second ethernet speed is better than the 1 gigabits per second and it won in all the tests that we did mind you that with the mixed files test reading it won by a very small margin now to answer the question that i asked at the beginning of this video is it worse to upgrade to 2.5 gigabits per second if you have now 1 gigabits per second ethernet speed my answer is yes especially if you are copying and sharing very large files so you'll gain much more speed with the 2.5 gigabits and now especially also that the material to purchase like a 2.5 gigabits network interface card is really becoming very cheap so i got this card from amazon at a very good price i'm gonna leave a link for this card in the description and also for the cat 7 cable that i used it is an affiliate link so i'll gain a small percentage if you make a purchase using my link at no cost to you and this will support my channel if you have any questions or comments feel free to put them in the comments section below and i'll be more than happy to answer all your questions and all your comments i hope that you liked my video and you found it useful in case you did please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you on the next video.